We always joke that, you know, we all gonna start a food truck one day. You know, we'll be doing selling hot dogs or something. But it wasn't very serious. It's like, oh, how cool would, uh, would it be if we all owned a food truck? And when I got laid off and, you know, the job market was super soft, I, I was like, maybe this is an actual reality. So we put a business plan together. I knew I needed a partner. I knew I needed to, to have someone I, I trusted. And Mark and I were gonna be living in the same area. So I, called, I messaged him, I said, would you be my partner? He said, yeah. My name is Brian. My name is Mark. And we run Farm to Sandwich Food Truck. So I've been a chef for 10 years. I've uh, been in the food industry since uh, you know I was little. Prior to starting Farm to Sandwich, I was at uh, a college in New York. I was actually the head chef there. A lot of hours, definitely a lot of stress. And when I got laid off uh, because of the pandemic, I decided, you know, what, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna work somewhere that I hate or start my own business. So I decided to start my own business. Pre-pandemic, I was working desk jobs, sales, marketing, things like that. Once when everything went down, lost, uh, lost my position. And then my wife actually is a resident here in Rhode Island, so we didn't really have a choice in terms of where we were moving. So she told me we were moving to Providence, Rhode Island area. I said, all right, let's do it. So we ended up here. I met Brian, I guess it was probably like my third date with my now wife. Brian is married to my wife's sister, so we're actually brother-in-laws. So we know each other by default now. Yeah. <laughs> the best type of food you can make is when you care about it. If you're making sandwiches, soup, matzo balls, fried dumplings, or whatever it is you gotta do, um, from a food truck, there's some expectations that it has to be quick. And there is an expectation, at least here in where we are in our demographic, the food has to be delicious. There's a ton of great restaurants. Almost every food truck that we've we come across, their food is killer. So it has to be good no matter what. So that's the first thing. When we initially decided to make this menu, we knew that the food had to be good. And with the years of experience I have as a chef, and in some of my experience were a little bit more on the high end level. So the expectation of loud, excessive ingredients to create a dish isn't really what we were looking to do. So we doubled down on marinades and length of preparation. As, as simple as a chicken sandwich can be, you can always make it better by how long you marinate it, how many seasonings you put in your, uh, in your seasoning, what type of uh, flours you're using in your cornstarch or your dredge mix. And we, we analyze all of that when it comes to our food. We wanna make sure nothing is just one, one and done. So our food takes days to prepare, even, even if it's something simple, because we know it's gonna, it's gonna overall affect the quality of the food. My favorite item on the menu currently would have to be our fried chicken sandwiches. So actually one of our, our best sellers would be like our Whata Babe. Um, and I'm wearing her shirt actually right now, but <laughs> the Whata Babe is um, buttermilk fried chicken, hot honey, hot homemade honey that Mark, me and Mark make, and uh, sweet pickles. And it's so, so simple, but for whatever reason, the combination of the dredge and, and the spices that we use, people, people line up for it for sure. Before we opened the food truck, I, was, I knew I wanted to work on food, but you didn't realize you also have to be a mechanic, a plumber, an uh, electrician, a janitor. Um, so, funny enough, this thing moves around a lot and things break. So when they do, it can be quite frustrating. Um, we learned, yeah, we've learned to be very handy and because you have to be, because you can't pay someone to fix every little thing that breaks on it. Yeah, cooking's like 10% of what we actually do here. Everything else is cleaning, maintenance, make sure everything's working the way it should. We may say that we're open from like two to six, but our day probably starts at like 10 o'clock. So we're, you know, we're here hours before, whether it's filling up the generator, filling up the propane tanks, cutting fries, the fridge. everything. So just making sure with our menu too, we have so many different sauces and things. So keeping up with that kind of inventory, making sure we have enough. It's really like a nine to 10 hour day yeah. for four hours of service. Unlike <laughs> unlike a restaurant where you forget something, you could just turn around into the storage room and grab you know those napkins. Once we leave this parking lot, that's it. We're not turning back. <laughs> you know, we can't. So we have to make do with what's on the truck at the moment. For me, I love this. I've never felt so happy about a job. And when it's super hot and super cold and we're you know shivering or, shivering or sweating on the truck, I'm in love with it. I don't think 
there's anything else. And I said, I say this mark all the time. If this doesn't work, I don't know if I could ever work for someone else ever again, personally. Yeah, I would say the same. Uh, for like, especially because it's still, it's like almost two years in, and it's still like still kind of new in my life. I love it so much. I couldn't see myself doing anything else. Like even you said, like hot days, cold days, doesn't matter. I don't, I don't want to sit behind a desk. Like I, I really, I just love being around food, and it, it definitely makes it something I'm very passionate about. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see where Farm to Sandwich will be next, be sure to see the link in the description below. Until then, see you in the next video.